In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a trick that will save you a ton of time when dealing with your nightclub business. And as you know, in Grand Theft Auto Online, time is money, so how efficient you can be is going to help you make more and obviously help you do things a little bit quicker. So by far, one of the most frustrating parts of the nightclub is the fact that in a good part of it, you're sort of stuck in this like dance walk. And while your character is in this dance walk, they obviously can't move very quickly. It kind of brings me back to those early days in 2013 and 2014 when you were inside of your apartment and you couldn't sprint. And like going upstairs and downstairs took like a full minute. It was the worst. Eventually Rockstar made that change and it was a lot better. And I kind of understand why they did that in a nightclub. It would look awkward if you had like all these people dancing with one guy just constantly sprinting back up and down the stairs. So I get it. I totally understand. But it makes for a really, and I mean really long process of getting to the important areas of your nightclub. Like the uh, VIP area or the place where your computer is or your closet or, you know, the access to the garage or anything like that. So today I've actually found a couple of tricks that will help you circumvent that a little bit easier. And I will be telling you guys the fastest way and how to go about doing it. So before we start that, we have to see just how long it takes to enter our nightclub normally and then get to the actual computer, sitting down, logging in, and getting to the screen. That's the barometer for the test I'm going to be using today. So my test was pretty interesting. To go from entering the nightclub to sitting down at the computer, it took about one minute and two seconds. Now, I am gonna give a little bit of some standard deviation here. It might be a little bit longer than that, might be a little bit shorter. I tried to go as efficiently as possible. You might find a quicker way, but I, I made a beeline straight to the stairs, straight from my office area. Entering from the normal entrance took a minute, which is quite a long time because a lot of that process is you stuck in that sort of dance walk phase. So that does make it a little bit tougher. All right, so what about our next strategy? Our next strategy is gonna be involving going through the nightclub service entrance. So this is your garage door and you're going to enter the nightclub regular floor. Now, when you spawn here, you spawn sort of in a garage bay and you can sprint instantly. And the amount of time it took was 22 seconds roughly to go from that garage door to get to the nightclub computer and to sit down and load everything up. So that is impressive. It's over 50% quicker than going through the main entrance when you compare one minute and two seconds to 22 seconds. So that's pretty fast. Now what about another method? Instead of going to the nightclub entrance through that garage door, you go to a level like B1, B2, or B3. Now, this is interesting because even though you're a little bit further away from the computer, you can sprint a lot faster. And I was actually able to do this one in about 20 seconds. So believe it or not, this is just slightly faster than going to the upstairs nightclub computer. Because in case you guys don't know, each garage floor has the same computer that you can use upstairs with the same things to start a promotion mission, change the DJ. You can do all of that underground uh, just like you can above ground. So that right there actually turns out that it is the fastest method. You start on that garage door, but instead of going to the nightclub, you go to B1, 2, or 3, and then you just sprint to the computer. Now, because I was testing this method, I wanted to give one more a try, and that was starting at your nightclub service entrance, but instead of going to the upstairs computer, you go to the elevator, you actually select one of the floors, and then you sprint towards the closest computer. I thought because it would spawn you at the elevator, it might make it a little bit quicker, but it turns out that's not the case. In fact, it makes it longer than both of those options we just looked at. It takes about 30 seconds in order to do that. So about six or seven seconds longer than the other methods we were doing. Part of that is because you have to go into a loading screen with the elevator, but at the end of the day, it's still a quicker option than the very first one we looked at. So at the end of the day, it's really gonna come down to those top two options. You're both going to go through your garage door instead of the main entrance, but it's really gonna come down to what else you want besides getting access to the computer. Because the difference is only like one second or so, that's really not big enough to warrant, you know, 
really any difference. So what this is going to allow you to do is choose between some things. If you want access to your main nightclub, like the office safe, the ability to maybe go to the bar, then you're gonna choose the method in which you go on the nightclub floor. If you want to maybe check in on your cars or you maybe want to get the guns that spawn on the desk or maybe even check on your warehouse, then you're gonna to wanna to go to the various garage floors and you can each access the computer just as quickly. So that right there should answer the question of what's the fastest way. It's definitely not using the main nightclub entrance. It's going to be using the garage door and then you just have to decide whether you want the safe, whether you want the nightclub amenities or whether you want the business, your cars and the garage. Now, another thing I wanted to test on top of this, and this is something you might not have done, and that is making your club private. Does making a private nightclub get rid of the restrictions of walking slowly? And what does it do when you make the club private? Well, the answer is a whole lot of nothing. So if you make the club private, obviously everyone is going to leave, uh, except for the staff, the DJs, you, Tony, Laszlo, stuff like that. But all the guests are going to be escorted out. So there's gonna be no one in the nightclub. Now, my thinking was, okay, because no one's in the nightclub, I'll be able to sprint like a maniac, and then this problem is solved. Unfortunately, that's not the case. You cannot sprint. You're pretty much in the same mode. There's just no people there. Now, on a little bit of a difference, I guess this would make it slightly faster because there's no people, so there's no one to bump into. So in that regard, I guess that works because you don't actually have to worry about hitting other people, So, which sometimes you can get stuck on and they can run into you, etc. So that is a little bit nicer, uh, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't make a difference. Now, what happens to the popularity of your nightclub and what other effects happens when you make it a private club? The answer is nothing. It, it still acts like a normal club. You've just decided to make it private. You know, your popularity is gonna go down at the same rate. Your wall safe is going to fill up at the same rate. So there's no difference there. There's just no people there. It really doesn't look like a nightclub at all. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. That right there is a secret trick that will allow you to access the more important parts of your nightclub faster getting to your business stuff quicker, which will help you save time, be more efficient, and overall make more money. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you know any other cool tricks like this to get to the big parts of your nightclub early? I was really hoping they would have given us something cool like the bunker has. Maybe not like a full-size golf cart, obviously, because that'd be way too big, but maybe like a little scooter. How cool would that be to just like, you know, drive around on a scooter to get to all these places quicker? That's like the one problem Rockstar has with all these interiors. They're massive and they take a long time to get to. Like the Doomsday Heist facility takes ages to go from front to back. But like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this and more. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.